What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? What's the furthest you've ever run? Furthest I've ever run? Yeah. I trained to run a marathon and then did I did a marathon of training and was like, oh, I don't enjoy this. So <laughs> I didn't even sign up for the. I did oh, the marathon really? and counted it. I was like, you know what? I ran twenty six point two and that was in college. I mountain bike a ton, and oh, so yeah. I'm I'm signed up to do the Leadville one hundred, the mountain bike version. So okay. Mountain bike's a little easier. Like I said, I, in two thousand seventeen, I tore my meniscus. Mm. And so the knee some days is great and other days yeah. it's not. So mountain biking is a little bit, like I can go grind and we do yeah. a lot of like, uh, we do a uh, 20, or yeah, 24 hour four man relay on a mountain bike in oh. Amarillo, Texas every year. Oh really? It's awesome. But see that tallest yep. peak up there? Yeah, so, and then we start, there's some radio towers right to the right yep. of it. Yep. I always start there, then go, hit that peak, and then we'll run across whatever is cool. over the Pisco over there. But I'm just here to, here to do what you do, I guess. <laughs> awesome. That's Long what I like to ride. hear. Long for the ride. Yeah, I don't do Murphs. Okay, you're I good. Don't. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Dude. <laughs> Right, right to Spencer's. Then we'll go here, kind of to here, and then hit, hit this thing. That should be good. We're heading off here, and we're gonna cross over at uh, Fox Hollow. You can see where this trail hits, uh, goes across Fox Hollow, and then we're gonna go to Dillard, right by Mount Baldy. We're gonna cut through this timber right to there. sun pretty much the whole time so now it should be won't be as cold see that ice on this hat <laughs> look at that <laughs> kind of cool we're on the home stretch now you guys doing all right you're not getting too tired are you feeling better than i ever been Cairo in his bag, this beat is heaven sin. Back up in my element, new whip, trunk up in the front, I whip an elephant. It's all limo tent, that's how you move when you the president. You ass and off stream, treat him like my last name. Disrespecting, you just signed a check for a long day. Appetizer rappers, you will never be an entree. Really, you a condiment, and I hope y'all follow this. Crazy how people with the most money lack the common sense. Batman over got them, how I'm over shit. Running this game. Now they finally notice it. Hear us on TV like, damn, yup, I know that's them. Just had to pay the dues. Now I feel like we could never lose. But it's us against the world. Now we finally got the tools. Watch a few years later, turn a puddle to a pool. We just gotta keep it hot to keep the family living cool. All we do is win like a size dad. I just bought my mom a Louis V bag. I just took little bro to BB Simons. Here's where we are right now, okay? And we started, this is Spencer's, yeah. then we started like right here. Okay. Went here, here, all the way across town. Now we're here. T-Spike, so that's my brother. Somebody <laughs> brought this up here for him. And now everybody's been signing it. We signed it the other day, I can't. Oh yeah, me and uh, Natalie right here. Nice. Doesn't count unless we sign it. Didn't happen. Yeah. There you go. We got Rich Froning. My hand doesn't work. Holy cow. <laughs> I know, mine wasn't Jeez. working that great. That great looks either. like a kindergartner. <laughs> Ready to head down? Yep. What do you think? Are you just getting back. warmed up? You want to go more? I'll be walking back. <laughs> I'll walk back with him. 
Boy, too clean, they running my jeans, it's all of my rules. Bro, with my team, I've been on my P's, I've been on my Q. My uncle was a firefighter in Detroit, mm -hmm. so I always looked up to him. Yeah. And so I always wanted to be a firefighter. Okay. And so I did that for four years and actually was just going to stay with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, cross, started doing CrossFit in the middle of that. And you were good kinda, at it? Like, kinda, like, yeah, found out. Yeah, I went to. Me and my cousin, my cousin was supposed to sign up, he didn't sign up. And so we were we were actually on our way to spring break for my first competition, mm. and it was a qualifier. And you had to get top 15 to even advance. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right. I show up and there's 78 guys there. Mm. I'm like, ah, this, you know, we might get an early jump on spring break if I'm, <laughs> yeah. you know, in like 60th or something. Yeah. And so uh, finished the first workout and Darren goes to check this whiteboard and he comes back, he's like, hey, you won the workout. What? <laughs> and so uh, I was like, I guess we'll hang out a little longer. And yeah. so I ended up winning, winning that sectional. Then went from the sectional to that regional, and won that regional. And then went to the games and was in first place to the last day. And they got second because I couldn't climb a rope because my dad told me when I was a kid not to use my legs because that's for pussies. <laughs> and that cost you. And that cost me. Oh God. Yep. Oh so, man. Yeah, was so that trying. what year was that? That was in 2010. And that was so you got second I got your second first time. My first year. Jeez. And then, yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. So I always I'm like thanks, Dad. Yeah. No kid. Do you think you would have fused your legs? Could you have won? You think? Oh man. You know. So not to get too like deep religious, but I, uh, you know, I grew up in the church, but mm -hmm. kind of like more of like I had to do it for me growing up it's you know you're always trying to find something that people are going to be proud of you or people yeah. are going to like you know define your life right? right and so what happened was when I got second it wrecked me like mm -hmm. mentally I was just like I, I'm done I want to quit mm -hmm. quit doing CrossFit and uh I had a cool pretty cool professor and then he was the head strength and conditioning coach who was my boss at the time mm -hmm. was like hey you should start come as Bible study so mm -hmm. I started studying the Bible and I was like oh wow you know like Jesus is, you know, the reason why, like, that's who defines who I am, not yeah. who I am as an athlete. Right. And so I could compete from a completely different place because it didn't really matter who yeah. I was as an athlete. Right. So I honestly, I don't think I would have won the next four if I hadn't lost that first one. Oh, so, I you know, I don't yeah. know if I would have recorrected. Yeah. So, no, I understand. You know, so it's a, it was a eye opener and a pretty cool thing. Oh, so, yeah, that is powerful. Yeah, it was cool. How's it going? How's it going? Richard? Rich. Rich. Wayne Wayne Wayne, nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, you got a bowl there. I do. Yeah, yeah. let's take a look at it. Yeah, we're good. That's a new paper for you. Keep them all right here. All right there. <laughs> good. Front hand looks fantastic. Good, good. And if you keep that good flat shove there, that looks good. Remember, four fingers. There you go. Good, good. Perfect. Nice, nice. That was good. I like that execution. Every part of that was good. And I know you said you were self-taught. So one thing, optically, you want to challenge yourself. If you're looking at the pin, you're looking at the wrong thing. Okay. So always, like like right here, you can easily see the white. Yep. So if you look at the white, you're, you're aiming 20 yards. So yeah. what you do is like, if this is a pin, uh -huh. so you want to make the pin a blocker. So let's say you're the target and I'm looking okay. and this is a pin. Yeah. So I'm looking at you, but this blocks what I'm looking at. So that's what you want to do because optically you're going to be challenged like this if you're aiming at 20 yards. If you're looking at the pin, yeah. you're, you're challenged like okay. this. So if you're looking at the pin, you don't know where it's at. Yeah. But if you look at the target and right. like you've got an up pin. Yeah. So what you want to do is you slice it down. So like here's a spot. Okay. So you're slicing it down through to where it hits it's the very top, but it's still blocking. You're right. still looking at this, but your whole time your focus is here. This is blocking what you're looking at, and that's when you execute. That'll make you super accurate. Okay. Good, good. Did that feel a felt, different? Felt probably. way better, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually. yeah it's awesome. Got some good food. I was shooting a bow. Actually getting some coaching on shooting, which I've never really done, so it's cool. Rich is uh, getting dialed in with the bow here. Uh, we got in a bunch of miles this morning. A um, few summits. Now we're shooting, shooting some good arrows here at the bow rack. Wayne's ironing out some little tweaks. That's going to make him even better. It'll be fun to get out there at, at the farm and stretch it out.
little more fun. Let's go do it. <laughs> oh, right beside it. I see it. <laughs> right ah. beside it. Oh, that's good, Lou. Oh! You hit it, dude. Oh, it, it moved put... the balloon. All right. Be the arrow. <coughs> Deep breath, relax. Booyah. Gotcha. Finally. Yes. <laughs> nice job. That was a good one. Looking 85 yards, Rich Froney. Nice shoot. Take it. That's a PR. Walls closing in, I guess that I'm going big. Uh, so appropriate that I leave him motionless. Uh, what's the point of moving? You ain't been close to this. I know you as a student when the chosen brewing all emotions grow and truth to stop that. In my bag and they feelings usually. You see the balance if you knew he been a maverick for it. Had me in a two seat with my homie, still a visionary till the movie. So only those who would get the picture choose me. Let's get an exit interview. Brandlin special. No, we're going authentic on this one. No script. Face earth shattering, got the plans to make the coast break. Keep acting like you can stop me with a close day. Keep acting like how I kill it in a cold case. High above the law, the fight the odds, why the rules. Lifting weights with Rich Froney. How sick is this? Good day. All right. I guess we've got to get, make it happen now. Should we put music on Tan? Yeah, yeah, Test yeah. your might. I'm here to get what I came for. An open invitation to bring slaughter. I bring precipitations to clean water. Since a teen, I was deemed a supreme author. You should feel what I came in this game for. You could keep your bad bitch in your Range Rover. I drew up the blueprint for the takeover. Made a couple little flips, now the game over. Tell these niggas don't play with me. Well How they see me so they playing them from A to C. Running left around the city, don't wait on me. This here's why these fuck boys hit on me. Cause my workplace, so birthday, piece of cake. Ground break my flow on earthquake. Man, I'm trying to get my pocket. It's on Earth Day, bitch. I'm trying to go green in the worst one. We're with the legend Rich Froning. We did a lift, run, shoot, and in that order. <laughs> it, and it was amazing. You guys are gonna love this show. I love spending and learning from Rich, the fittest man in the world. And we got to shoot bows and do what I do. And man, it, it was, was an honor. It was incredible. Was You're an animal you. on the, the trails, and then man shooting was a ton of fun. So, and hey, we got to lift. We got to do what I like to do. 85 yards. He popped that balloon. It took me a couple tries, but <laughs> no, but no, one shot. One shot. Make it look Keep hammering. Trying to go green in the worst one.